uh, pretty windy here, so if I look like I'm drunk, I'm not. I'm just... Where are we? We're at Castle! Best grooming on the planet, by yeah, the way. Seriously. That is uh, not something they advertise, but they definitely should. Their grooming here is fantastic. Oh, and come in the middle of the week. There's nobody here. We have this whole place to ourselves. So I'm skiing on the Volcal Katana 108 at 177 centimeters long. Uh, back uh, from its true heritage from uh, six years ago, back to uh, metal and wood construction. I saw these, I thought they were, they looked meaty. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, that's a lot of ski for, for Norway, but these are fun. They're yeah. aggressive. They like to charge down the hill and they like to stick to the hill or stick to the snow. And they're a lot of fun. I really like them. So here we're talking about a ski that's 108 underfoot. It doesn't ski like a 108 underfoot. Yeah, it's a big ski, but it's a big ski that drives through everything. Um, if you're going to somewhere like Revelstoke, this thing will tear it up. It will be perfect for you. It's a fall line ski. Yes, 108, fall line. And when you get in those short radius fall line turns, which you have to initiate because it won't do it, there's so much power coming out of the turns from the tail. If you sit back just a little bit, you don't have to, you feel that power push into the next turn. Um, this ski looks mean and I was afraid to ski on it. I thought it was uh, gonna be a lot for me. And 108 underfoot, that's a, a big, big hefty boy. Uh, but this ski surprised me at how playful it was. Um, the one characteristic, especially because we're skiing on groomers today, the one characteristic I really noticed was that it was incredibly smooth. And it has that three side cut, so uh, longer in the front, shorter in the middle, longer at the tail. Turn versatility, you can do short turns, long turns. Um, it's actually, that makes this ski incredibly forgiving. Very, very fun ski as far as a charging ski. It likes to be pushed. It has amazing stability at speed, but surprisingly, when you do take it easy, the 3D radius does wake up and it allows you to get that shorter turn. You can really maneuver it at those slower speeds. Uh, yet, man, as soon as you want to pick that speed up, it just goes. This ski managed it all without any problems. Uh, it wants to go fast. It wants to play. It wants to find the snow and it wants to find the trees. And it's a really fun ski to, uh, to go if on. If you're a good skier and you're a little heavy, you, wanna, you don't want to ski too long. You know, you want to, or you ski very fast. The Katana is the way to go. I mean, I, I think that in the myriad of conditions that we've seen here today at Castle, I think I, I would rather be on this than an M5. I think this is more playful, it's more surfy, it's more poppy. Um, and when you get into that chalky, wind-packed snow, it'll float on top of it. This little handy sticker here, shop tune for the ladies of Leisure by Ski West. Thank you very much, Ski West. Uh, the ladies of Leisure are uh, hard-charging skiers and hard charging partiers drinkers yeah. drinkers hot tubbers fun they shoppers. like to have a good time the le they're putting the leisure in ladies of leisure that's for sure but i like steep and deep and i'm an aggressive skier and these uh, basically complement that they're uh, they they go with that and they don't they just want to like they'll charge through all that powder and yet you're still staying on top of it so really good ski for for me for skiing. <laughs> <laughs> i'm five eight and i weigh uh, 130 pounds 145. <laughs> COVID, wait! <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> and scene. The ski is so stable. The metal and the wood and the titanium just gives you a very stable, capable, reassuring ski. You know, vocal is synonymous with hard charging, powerful aggressive skis this ski is is very much that um i would go down a length for me but uh this would be i was actually surprised at how well this performed in the bumps um obviously it's gonna just rip through any kind of crud or any kind of ball bearings which we had up here today at norway a little bit but you know in the powder and in in any kind of variable stuff this thing it just it, it's no problem whatsoever it will push you to be a better skier it uh has amazing stability it'll charge through mixed conditions extremely well because it has that triple radius and the triple radius remember allows that ski to be nimble underfoot yet hard charging tip and tail so 
you know, you owe it your, to yourself to consider this. And if you've been skiing a, an older mantra or you've been a mantra fan for the longest time, you know, graduate to this. It's, it's really, I think it's, it's going to be worth your while. This was the most flowy ski that I've skied on. It, I was surprised. I was not expecting that. This really allows you to like vary your turn radiuses. So you're not committed to like a big arc or, you know, or a really short turning arc. Um, but yeah, that makes it pivotable as well. So mm -hmm. you can cheat a turn if you have to, but I mean, on these things, you're just kind of going to roll over anything that gets in your way. So uh, it's a bit Children, of a old ladies. Yeah, yeah, those, yeah, they'll they'll take those out, no problem. <laughs> you might feel a bit of a speed bump, but it'll be like, oh, why is there helmets and goggles everywhere? But again, you have to ski it. This is not a ski for somebody to lay back and ho dee do dee <laughs> No chatter. No chatter whatsoever. No. How They're like the glue. The, the ball girth on these is... Well, what can I say? I, I, I'm i impressed. <laughs> uh, just a blast of a ski if you want something powerful underfoot. Uh, great, great ski. I'm not giving you the back. Bye.